God bless you so much, a child of God. Um, the spiritual meaning and the importance of salt. And today I'm going to talk to you because I know most of you, you are having a lot of conspiracy theory uh, concerning the area of salt. So I'm going to pray with you. I'm going to open your eyes and I know God is going to bless you. Physically, uh, there are three importance of salt. Number one is for test. Salt will bring a lot of test in your life and a lot of test in whatever you eat. Uh, uh, number two is preservation. A uh, long time ago, uh, because there was no fridges and there were, there were no uh, freezers, uh, the salt uh, or the meat was placed uh, in salt so that it can be preserved. Uh, number three is for healing. I remember a long time ago when uh, the hospitals were very far away from us uh, and we had some stomach problem or you were cut, uh, they did apply salt. Uh, they, they, our mothers, our parents, they put some salt in water and make us to drink them or put salt on the, uh, on the, on the area where you are having some issues. So in this area, we are talking about the spiritual area of uh, salt. In the book of 2 Kings, uh, chapter 2, verse number 18 uh, to 22, the word of God says, When they returned to Elisha, who was staying in Jericho, he said to them, uh, Did I tell you not to go? Verse number 19, the people of the city said to Elisha, Look, our Lord, this town is very, uh, is well situated, and uh, as you can see, but uh, the water is bad, and the land is unproductive. Uh, bring me a bowl, uh, he said, and put salt in it. So they uh, brought it to him. Uh, then he went out uh, to, to the spring and threw the salt into it, uh, saying, this is what the Lord says, I have healed this water, never again will, will it cause death or make uh, the land unproductive or miscarriage. Verse 22, and the water has remained pure to this day according to the word of Elisha that had spoken. Again, another book that we're going to read is in the book of uh, Matthew uh, chapter 5 verse number 13. The Bible says you are the salt of the earth but if the salt has lost its taste how shall it uh, its uh, saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except uh, to be thrown out uh, and be trampled under people's feet. Now because uh, salt has a significant area in the spirit uh, we need to understand uh, the major aspect of uh, salt. Uh, in the old times uh, salt uh, was uh, made uh, uh, to pay people. Uh, there are soldiers who are paid. There are soldiers who are paid uh, uh, by salt or with salt. And um, uh, most of the time, if you are facing under spiritual attacks, uh, you have some uh, bad dreams or you have some issues uh, that are going on in your life, uh, please uh, take some salt, put it in water, go and wash yourself. Uh, if you feel like uh, your house is attacked uh, by demons or evil forces, uh, please uh, try to take some water and salt and then try to dedicate your house. And through this prayer, I know God is going to bless you. If it is your bedroom, you are always having paralysis or you are having attacks in your dream, please uh, put some salt on your door or on your windows. Uh, and uh, that, that salt will throw out spirits. That's why in the witch doctor's uh, shrines, uh, you will never find uh, salt. Uh, so I am praying for you, and I believe that God will bless you and keep you safe. Uh, if you have some issues, kindly contact me. My numbers are there on the screen. Uh, God bless you. Amen, 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 amen.